how to add a device. So in this case, we're going to add a device. We're going to do it in graphical view. So I'm going to navigate down to a rack that I've got a um, bunch of open space into. So I'll use this rack K01. So I'm just going to select the rack K01 right now. It just has one NPH inside of it. And I'm going to move my navigate myself over to graphical edit view. So when I click on that, it immediately brings me to the elevation view of this rack. So very similar to what it did in the previous version, giving me the icons down below so I can see both front and rear. And there's this MPH that was placed in that rack earlier on. So I'm going to flip back over to the front side. And we're just going to place a DL380 inside of this rack. So I'm going to hit the little plus add icon in the top right corner. This is going to invoke up our catalog search. In this case, I can just type in DL380, very similar to what I did before. Hit the search button. And it's going to bring up all of the different DL3s that I have up that are out there. Just like in the past, when I select the device, I can actually see the device. We can spin it around, rotate it, and flip it, and so forth. We can also see some additional properties for this device. Now, this is a new feature inside of Trellis 5.0. So it allows me to see the actual name, the manufacturer, and all of the other information from the faceplate um, values of that device. Now when I want to place a device, it's a little bit different than it was in 5.0. In previous versions, we actually dragged the graphical icon out into the rack itself. In 5.0, we had so many people that were changing around and wanted to drag the text that we just felt that was the better way to go. So disregard the, the little gray box, that's a little bug that's in this version of uh, Charles 5.0. It's going to be fixed in the next version. But the little green indicator is showing us the exact U height of that device. And I can just simply drag and drop that into our U35. And as soon as I release that mouse button, it's going to place it. Just in, in the past, when we had different capacities that would be set up, different thresholds, we can see here that my cooling capacity is exceeded. But again, I can just uh, abort that and hit close off of that and allow me to still place that in there.